In 1993, the first submerged turret loading, or STL, boy was mobilized from Arendal, Norway, for the shell-operated Fulmar field in the North Sea. Since then, APL has delivered turret mooring systems for shuttle tankers, FSOs and FPSOs to 14 offshore oil fields worldwide. Before the introduction of STL, loading from towers and other existing systems had to be closed down when the weather became too harsh. The STL system allows the loading of oil directly into shuttle tankers or storage tankers, uninterrupted, all year round, even in the most extreme weather conditions. The basis of STL is a buoy with an internal turret moored to the seabed. The buoy is pulled into and locked in a mating cone in the bottom of the vessel, connecting the mooring system. The outer buoy hull can rotate freely with the vessel around the internal turret, with rice ran mooring lines connected. A loading manifold connects the oil riser to the piping system of the tanker. The tanker Vinga was converted for STL in Japan, replacing the previous Salm moored storage vessel at a Fulmar field. The Fulmar STL system was delivered to the field in less than eight months. Vinga was in continuous operation at Fulmar for four years without disconnections. Oil export was then transferred to the Norpipe pipeline. The vessel sailed directly from the Fulmar field into oil trade without modifications. During the years at Fulmar, 316 shuttle loads were exported through the system. Both empty Vinga, now renamed Navion Scotia, and the Fulmar STL buoy mooring system are likely to be reused for other STL or STP applications, thereby demonstrating the value of geometrical standardization. The Startoil Heidrun field is rated for production of 250,000 barrels per day and is built without a storage tank for oil. The production is dependent on a shuttle tanker connected to one of the two STL boys delivered to Conoco at all times. Per April 2001, close to 500 shuttle tanker loads have been exported and the oil export system has had 100% availability since first oil in October 1995. At the Startoil Yme field, the converted Suez Max vessel Navion Saga is serving as floating storage and offtake, or FSO, system. At BP Harding, one STL buoy is used as an offshore loading terminal, allowing an STL shuttle tanker to connect and export oil from the infield storage tank. Noshkidru's Njord field is developed with a semi-submersible platform and an unmanned, permanently moored FSO, Njord B. The vessel is powered from the platform with 11 megawatts transferred through the STL system. Oscar C is a floating storage unit, FSU, for condensate produced at a Startoil-operated Oscar B platform. A shuttle tanker is initially serving as FSU at the field for the first part of the 30-year lifetime. For handling future planned tie-ins, the STL system is also designed for mooring a larger purpose-built passive FSU. Installed in the summer of 1999, the system received first condensate from the Oscar B platform in the fall of 2000. Two spare slots and mooring capacity for the larger vessel are included in the initial delivery. In August 2000, only five months after the receipt of Letter of Intent, APL delivered the STL system for the TT Nordic Apollo as FSO at a Conoco Banff field in UK Central North Sea. In late 1999, APL started engineering the STL system for the mooring of a multi-product FSO for condensate, propane and butane. This system will be installed at the Philips Petroleum operated by Yu Undan gas field in the Timor Sea, northwest of Australia in 2002. 
founded on the principles of the STL system, APL developed STP, Submerged Turret Production. In this case, a new or converted tanker will serve as a floating production storage and offtake or FPSO system. For an FPSO application, the STP system accommodates multiple risers such as high pressure well streams, gas and water injection as well as power and signals. The STP buoy is pulled into the mating recess in the bottom of the vessel by means of a pull-in winch. Once in position, the locking mechanism secures the buoy tightly to the vessel. A swivel is required for the transfer of fluid, power and signals from the geostationary riser system to the freely rotating vessel. First oil from the starter operated Lu Feng oil field in the South China Sea was received on the FPSO MST Navion Munin late 1997. The installation of suction anchors, mooring lines, STP buoy and the FPSO was carried out earlier the same year. Plateau production from the field was 60,000 barrels per day from five wells. In typhoon conditions, the Lufeng FPSO is disconnected from the STP buoy and sailed out of the area. This connection takes only a few minutes and can be performed in all weather conditions. The buoy drops clear of the vessel so there is no danger of collision when the ship sails away. The Lufeng field was for many years deemed uneconomical. By introducing new technology and optimized solutions, the Lufeng Development Company has proven that a field could be developed. At the enterprise-operated Pierce Field in the British North Sea, the STP moored FPSO Berge Hugin received first oil in February 1999. At a water depth of 85 meters, the STP system accommodates seven risers and one integrated service umbilical. The eight-leg mooring system is designed to moor the 640,000 barrels FPSO in a passive mode through the 100-year storm with a corresponding significant wave height of 12.8 meters. The China National Offshore Oil Corporation has selected the STP system for the mooring of the purpose-built FPSO for the Wenchang field in the South China Sea. APL shipped the STP buoy from Norway in March 2001 and is scheduled to install the complete system later the same year. The STP system can either be disconnectable, as is the case with the Lu Feng system, or, as at the Pierce and Wenchang fields, permanently moored throughout the field life. In both cases, the riser and mooring system can be completely installed before the FPSO arrives at the field, ensuring shorter lead time to first oil. The compact STP swivel, normally mounted directly on the turret top, transfers fluids, gas, signals and power from the riser system to the rotating vessel. The STP swivel is based on double dynamic seals energized by overpressurized barrier oil fluid. The STP compartment in this case consists of a 12-meter cylinder. The steel weight for a section of this type designed for a converted vessel is no more than 200 to 250 tons. APL has verified the suitability of the STL and STP systems in ice environments. The STL systems operative today are using the illustrated method for buoy pickup.
for improving this operation and making pickup also possible in ICE, a remotely operated pickup unit, ROP, is developed and successfully tested. The SAL, single anchor loading system, consists of an anchor on the seabed with equipment for the mooring of and oil transfer to shuttle tankers. Vessels serving the field will upon arrival be moored to the SAL system by means of a mooring hawser with a connected loading hose. Common for the APL systems is the principle of the vessel being able to weather vane freely when moored. For the SAL system, this is solved by a combined mooring and fluid swivel located directly on top of the anchor. When the vessel aligns with the wind and current forces, this will impose a rotation of this combined swivel system. SAL moors the vessel rotating around one single anchor, contrary to traditional mooring systems which have a turret in the vessel moored to 8 to 12 anchors. APL has per April 2001 installed three SAL systems for the Siri, Banff and South Arne fields in the North Sea. A fourth system is in design for the Weber-operated Dutch Hansa field and will be installed in the summer of 2001. Based on a need for alternatives to the traditional calm boy systems for deep and ultra-deep water, APL has developed the deep water SAL and the tandem SAL systems. Derived from the SAL system, SAP single anchor production is developed and qualified. Typical SAP applications are extended well tests, early production and marginal field development. Utilizing the core turret components of the STL system, APL has created a boy-based loading system, BTL, boy turret loading. Tests in the ocean basin at Marintec have verified mooring systems for water depths ranging from 25 to 1500 meters and significant wave heights of up to 18.5 meters. APL has through analysis verified the feasibility of mooring systems for water depths ranging from 20 to over 2000 meters. Per April 2001, 10 STL, 3 STP and 4 SAL systems have been completed. A fleet of 25 vessels, both new builds and conversions, are or are being equipped with the STL-STP cone.